About a week or so ago, we had a tape come into the studio that had a very unusual problem. And I just wanted to share that with you today. So if you ever owned a cassette tape, you probably noticed that at the beginning of the tape, you had this little clear film. And, and what it is, it's called the leader tape. And the leader tape is at the beginning of the tape. And as you're turning it, as you push play, all of a sudden you will see connected to the leader tape, the actual magnetic tape comes in. See that? So that's where the audio obviously is recorded on the magnetic tape. Now I'm going to pull this out so you can take a closer look. These two pieces are held together by a little piece of adhesive. And you can see it spanning the leader tape to the magnetic tape right there. I'll flip it over so you can see the front. And then there's the back. And you can see there's that little piece of adhesive that's holding the two things together. For all intents and purposes, it's just a little piece of tape that holds the two things together. Now, periodically, over time, that tape, that adhesive wears off. And as you're playing a tape, when it gets to that point in the tape, the two things will just actually come apart. And then your tape is broken and you have to open it up and put the two things together and splice them back together. So that happens periodically and that's not super unusual. But what happened that on the one that came in, this was really unusual because it had to do with the tape itself coming apart, but it didn't come apart at the splice. It actually came off of the reel. And so it came to, it came off of the reel. And for you to understand what happened and why that happened, I need to show you how the reel is put together. So I'm going to go to a close-up view here to show you that. Now, a cassette tape reel is generally made of two pieces. You have the main reel right here, and then you have a little piece of plastic that fits in a gap in the reel. And right here, you can see that. Here's the reel. There's a little gap, and then you have this little piece of plastic that fits into that gap. Well, what's the purpose of this gap and that piece of plastic? Well, you can see right here that the leader tape, this gap and this piece of plastic, that leader tape sits in there, that goes in on top of the leader tape, and that's what secures it to the reel. Okay, now that you've seen that, here's a photograph of the tape I was talking about that came into the studio, and you can start to see what happened here. Now, obviously, these reels are made out of plastic, and of course, plastic is a wonderful thing because of its longevity, but it also has some some unique downfalls. And you probably own something that's made out of plastic that used to be white and now it's yellow. And, and as it turns yellow, it also gets brittle. And so what happened in this particular case, and this is very, very rare, I'll show you. This is the actual one that, that I showed you in the photograph just a second ago. You'll actually see that it even has a little bit of yellowing that took place. Well, the little piece that fits right in there is under a tiny, tiny bit of pressure as it sits in there and as the, and the tape goes underneath it. Well, as this plastic ages and it turns yellow, it actually gets a little bit brittle. And so over time, that little bit of pressure, when it becomes brittle, it'll actually break. And so when you're playing the tape and you get to the end, no matter how delicate your tape player handles the tapes, that little piece just breaks up in a couple of pieces and the leader and the whole tape comes right off of it. And that's what, that's what happened in this particular case. Now, there's really no way to, to fix that. Uh, th the best thing to do is just go get another reel like this out of another tape and just put it in there, splice the pieces together, and then you're good to go. I mean, the, these reels, no matter what tape you buy, they're, they're pretty much interchangeable. But the reality of it is you've probably never seen this happen before. And in, in the hundreds of thousands of tapes that have come through our studio, I've seen this happen maybe 50 times. So it's super rare. But the reality of it is, I mean, this plastic over time from the exposure of ultra, ultraviolet rays and heat, it yellows and it becomes brittle. And it's just the nature of what happens with some of these polymers. And so then, then they break. Anyway, it's a really oddball thing. And I kind of enjoy looking at all these weird things that happen in the studio. And hopefully you enjoy them too. Seeing how these little pieces of, of equipment work that you were using years ago. And uh, there you go. So have a fantastic day.